Hello everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're back at Disney California Adventure because summer has begun and they have a whole menu of summer foods. There's actually 30 or 40 of them, but today we'll probably try like 10 or so things. I'm excited because a lot of it looks really good. Don't let these gray skies fool you. We're going to have a great time. So how about you come along with us? On this adventure. First up, we're heading to Grizzly Peak to Smoke Jumpers Grill, where they have a bacon, green chili, mac and cheese, fried chicken sandwich on a toasted bun served with crinkle cut fries. Green chili, mac and cheese, chicken sandwich. That's like a lot of things. Sounds good. <laughs> I don't even know how to approach this. <laughs> what side do I approach this with? Maybe they put too much into one sandwich. What? <laughs> the crispy chicken, there's a little bit of spice there, probably from that green chilies. And I like the bacon, but putting mac and cheese on top might just be, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm like, put everything on everything. But this might be a little too much. I think I'm gonna give it like a three and a half out of five Peters. To wash that down, I had to get the strawberry whiskey sour. This is strawberry flavored whiskey sour, garnished with the strawberry, sweet and sour. It's a little bit of strawberry, almost like a strawberry lemonade kind of taste to it. That's very refreshing. I like this a lot. A little bit tart as well. I just did a five out of five Peters. I love a whiskey sour. And this tastes like a whiskey sour mixed with like strawberry lemonade or something. This is so good. Ordinary Adventure Star. Also one of the new summer drinks here that is non-alcoholic is this mango lemonade. And it's a mango lemonade with chamoy and fresh mango on top. And this looks beautiful. Doesn't this look so good? This is very, very sour. Very tart, you can really taste the lemons. It's almost like they took a fresh lemon and squeezed it in there. The mango gives it a little bit of sweetness and that chamoy gives it a little bit of like spice. What I love is that you have these fresh mango chunks on top. It's almost like boba, like it gives it a nice texture. It kind of balances out the very, very sourness of it. This is very, very good. It is a bit much though, personally for me but I still think it gets like a three and a half out of five because it is really, really tasty. There's a lot of seasonal items going on here at Disneyland Resort. Some of them are for the 100th and some of them are for the summer season. This one's for the 100th. I got the apple crumble ice cream parfait. This is a cinnamon shake with apple pie filling, granola crumble and caramel and whipped cream. And it looks delicious. I'm glad I have this railing here because this is so good. It almost knocked me off my feet. It's like cinnamon overload, and it's that mixed with apple pie. There's actually like chunks of apple pie filling in there. Five out of five, Peters. This, I'm surprised this isn't on the summer menu because this is like gonna be nice on a hot summer day. Ordinary Adventure Star. This tastes literally like they took an apple pie a la mode, took it in a blender, and now I'm drinking it. This is good. No way. I got an idea. I'll start at the beginning. I was born from a small blue egg in a white goofy. My story is not near as interesting as Ariel's. Walking around on those, what do you call it? to live happily ever after with her prince. Of and winds of the Caspian Sea. to me. I 
actually like the new live action Little Mermaid, but the one thing I didn't like about that movie is the under the sea sequence, the song. Because the the fishes are not like playing all the instruments. But even in the song, they're like referencing fish playing instruments, but it doesn't have fish. I, annoys me. It really annoys me. One of the new food items that I was so excited to try is over at Willie's Churro Cart when you first walk into DCA and it is called the Spicy Chili Cheese Churro. This is a churro dusted with crushed spicy cheese chips and chili lime sugar dressed in nacho cheese sauce and crushed spicy cheese chips. So basically this has like tahini on it and then it has flaming Hot Cheetos. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm actually a, an aficionado of uh, flaming Hot Cheetos. I haven't had them in a while though. Bottoms up, cheers. Oh, the sun just came out too. I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> I feel like it's the sugar that's really f throwing me off. Let me give it one more bite just to... I want you to try this. I guess it's a one for creativity. Like it's really beautiful looking and I've been turning a lot of heads as people walk by but I don't think I could recommend this one. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to like these because I don't like nacho cheese. Although I do like Flaming Hot Cheetos and I do like lime seasoning on stuff so Take a big bite. All it smells is a nacho cheese. Take a big bite. <laughs> I would never get this again. I would not recommend this for any to anybody. <laughs> no. Definitely not. these new ears they're churro ears they're little like churro gears dipped in chocolate and I love this like sparkly brown headband do I do I need them construction on the Pacific Wharf to turn it into San Francisco Square is getting far along I think this might actually open sometime in July at the progress that they're making we might actually have to go over there and check it out but first coffee Right at the entrance of San Francisco Square, there's a cappuccino cart, and they have a brand new cold brew. This is the S'mores cold brew. It's chocolate-infused cold brew coffee, marshmallow cold foam cream, chocolate sauce, and graham cracker topping. You guys know that it is my official duty here on Ordinary Adventures to be the cold brew coffee taste tester, and this one sounds so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, this tastes like chocolate milk. This really tastes like a s'more. I'm so surprised that marshmallow cold foam on top, when you mix it in with the coffee, it is so delicious. Oh wow, this is very, very sugary though. So if you like sweet coffee, like I think you're definitely gonna enjoy this. They keep coming out with cold brews and they're all delicious. We just recently got one in Avengers Campus that was like Oreo flavored or like cookies and cream. That was amazing. This might be even better. Five out of five. We'd like to thank BASE for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Summer has begun and that means it's vacation time. Just in time for summer, BASE has released a new line of luggage called the Sherbert Collection. We love the Sherbert Collection so much so we thought it was about time that we expanded our luggage options. And I got the citron green color, of course. And I got the orange creamsicle. I am obsessed. Actress Shay Mitchell created base luggage to be chic and affordable. And each of the bags has a ton of features that makes traveling more effortless. The super comfortable cushion handle and the 360 degree gliding wheels makes it never feel like you're lugging around a heavy bag through the airport. Inside the bag are pockets to keep yourself super organized. 
It even features a bag for your dirty clothes and has compression straps that magically allow you to fit more clothes in the same amount of space. If you buy a bunch of souvenirs on vacation like me, the bag will expand so you can fit even more. And there's even a weight indicator on the handle to make sure that you're under the limit. Right now, Base is offering our viewers 15% off your first purchase by going to basetravel.com slash order. Go to basetravel.com slash ordinary for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel.com slash ordinary. Base has over 30,000 five-star reviews. We love ours. Get yours today. And now, back to our adventure. Right next to the cappuccino cart, there's a hot dog and corn on the cob cart. And this is where you can get the Disney 100 watermelon cotton candy mimosa. This is cotton candy syrup, watermelon puree, and lime juice topped with champagne and served in a Disney 100 fluted glass. It's $19, but it looks so pretty. By the way, I don't think I've ever said this before, but I am a connoisseur of watermelon mimosas. This is true. I'm adding it to the list. This is true. So let's see how this tastes. Wow, that's, a, that's bold. It's bold and sweet, so if you like sweet mimosas, this is one to get. I would say there's more cotton candy flavor in it than there is watermelon, but I like it a lot. And you get the souvenir glass that you can bring home and use on New Year's. You could be toasting on New Year's. Or you could just be toasting at home for Disney 100 all year long. <laughs> I'd give this up a five out of five Peters. So this is a plastic glass. It makes sense because you're at a theme park. They don't want to give you a glass one and then you drop it. It is it expensive? Yes, but I mean, this is really, really sweet. You can't really taste the champagne in there. I don't know about you guys out there, but when I drink mimosas, it's like this much champagne, and then you just put like a drop of orange juice on top. <laughs> but this is really good. I agree with you. Five out of five. It's fun. It's flavorful. I recommend it. Pinky's up. Follow me. Pinky's up. This way, if you if you follow my pinky, it's pointing in the, the next direction we're going to. So Pinky's up. Let's go this way. Yeah, yeah, church, yes. Come on. And of course, next we're heading to the Pacific Wharf Cafe. And this is where they have the strawberry cheesecake bread pudding. This is cream cheese cheesecake with strawberry topping, graham cracker, and whipped topping. And you know, the Pacific Wharf Cafe has that fantastic sourdough and Mickey shapes and bread bowls, but they also have seasonal bread puddings, which we almost always love. And this one looks beautiful. How amazing does that look? It like melts in your mouth. And it looks good. I love the bread puddings here. I don't think we've ever had a bad one. I don't know what I can say about this other than it tastes like a strawberry cheesecake mixed with a bread pudding. And it's huge. Like this could definitely be split between a couple, maybe even an entire family. Look at all that strawberry that's falling off over there. Disney always does such a good job with the presentation of their foods. I'm waiting for the day that we come here and we order one of the seasonal bread puddings and it isn't good. Like you said, every single bread pudding that we've had here has been incredible. And every single one, I'm like, is this better than the one before? And I think it is. Like this, like I feel like is the best one that's ever been here. Five out of five, Ordinary Adventure Star. Come get this. Okay, so there's a lot more construction work definitely to be done here. But I just noticed over by the bathrooms, they have like a Baymax version of a guy and a girl indicating which restroom to use. Yeah, and there's a very beautiful mural of the San Francisco skyline. I like it. It's coming along slowly but surely. I think you're right. I think by like in the next month or so, this place will be ready and open. Ciao. Next up, we made our way over to Cars Land, which is one of our favorite lands in any theme park. And I went to the Cozy Cone Motel because they have loaded street chips. These have nacho cheese tortilla chips, shrimp, cucumbers, jicama, Japanese peanuts, chamoy, tamarind, lime, a bunch of stuff going on there. And they look really interesting to me. I'm excited to try this. And you know what I noticed? Right by the Cozy Cone Motel, this land is so incredibly detailed that even the flowers there look like little street cones. Like, I love that. Is that what they're called? Street cones? Traffic cones? Whatever. It's cute. Oh my god. There's a lot. How do I... I got a fork, but now I'm realizing, like, 
I don't really, do I eat these like nachos or? <laughs> Let's get a chip. Let's put a cucumber on it. Let's put a little piece of jicama on it. Let's put a little shrimpy on it. Right? <laughs> what are you eating? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. A lot of people say it's good. Like Mondo, he was like, made so many Instagram reels about these saying how good they were. So I'm excited to try it. If Mondo likes it, you know, could trust his opinion, right? Hmm. Okay. So obviously everything in here is cold. I don't know why I was expecting warm shrimp, but it almost tastes like a shrimp cocktail, but it's like spicy, spicy. And then it has, then it cools off a little bit with that lime juice and the jicama and the, the cucumber. I'm surprised. Does it get five fires? You know, I'm gonna give it four fires. Four fires. I would say definitely check this out if you like spice and you like shrimp. Because it's pretty good. I was wondering where the peanuts were and I just found one. Look at how big that peanut is. I don't think I've ever had a Japanese peanut before. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. This is good. Four fires. Radiator spray. One of the stores here in Radiator Springs that hadn't reopened until very recently is Radiator Springs Curios. And I'm not even sure if I've ever actually been in the store. When is the last time we ever even looked at Cars merch? I feel like whenever <laughs> we come to this line, we never go in the stores. By the way, this is decorated with all sorts of signs from around the road. And it looks like some kid might have threw up Captain America's shield. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and nobody noticed. It like blends in. That's hilarious. Ciao. The thing I like about this store is it has a lot of like the Route 66 style merchandise. So it has a lot of brand logos from inside the world of cars of, like, you know, Dynaco and those kind of brands. So like themed shirts don't just say cars or have meter on it. I always like when you have like themed logos from movies. So I've seen all three of the Cars movies, but it's been a while, I'll admit it. Is there a part in the movies where they go to a dino park? Because this has like a volcano and it has like a little nest with eggs and... Well, I think it's one of the shorts. Were the cars around the same time as the dinosaurs? Did the cars exist 65 million years ago with the dinosaurs? I don't are there have car, answers. Are there car dinosaurs? There might be. I have so many questions about the cars universe. It, it confuses me. This just adds to the confusion. I just don't... I don't understand. I found a dinosaur car, so I guess they did exist in the same time as the dinosaurs. They were just make any sense. They were just shaped like a dinosaur, but also a car. See, look, it even has little, like, T-Rex, like, little baby arms. Okay, so there's a Mater plane and also a Lightning McQueen plane as well. I, I never saw the movie. I just don't. Somebody in the comments, I need to know. It's driving me crazy being in here because I don't know. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Next up, we're heading over to Paradise Garden Grill, where every season they change out the menu. This season, it seems like it's Mexican and Asian themed. And I got the Sweet Thai Chili Chicken Tenders. This has fries topped with cheese sauce, chicken tenders tossed in sweet Thai chili sauce and slaw with crushed almonds, mandarin orange segments, crispy noodles, and citrus vinaigrette. I'm not sure if you know this, but I am a connoisseur of chicken tenders. How we know. <laughs> Everybody knows. Yeah. Usually I get normal chicken tenders or buffalo chicken tenders. They actually have buffalo chicken tenders here, but today I got the sweet Thai. Are these gonna be good? We'll find out. These are very good. They're sweet, but have a spicy little kick to them. It's not much of a, of a kick. So if you don't like spice, you'll be fine with it. But also it has those crispy noodles on top that give it a little bit of a crunch. I enjoy these quite a bit. I also like normal Disney chicken tenders. But I'm gonna give us a five out of five. We're, we're giving, I'm giving too many fives. Today. You are. <laughs> am, am I Kitra? What's going on? <laughs> These are really, really good. I love the flavor of the sweet chili. I feel like it doesn't even need cheese. I don't know, understand why there's like cheese on this at all. Cause I feel like cheese doesn't even like mix with the rest of the flavors. But this is good. It, it might not look like, it looks kind of weird on the thing, but you just gotta trust us, it's very good. Ordinary Adventure Star, it's good. I would just order these chicken tenders like by themselves with this place. 
they're that good. We also wanted to try the El Pastor loaded fries. This has Oaxaca spiced cheese sauce, marinated pork, salsa verde, and pineapple relish. These smell incredible. You can really smell the pineapple. And for some reason, they gave me the cheese sauce on the side, so I'm gonna do some dramatic slow motion of me pouring this cheese sauce on here. You ready? Yes. Banana, oh, okay, that didn't, didn't quite go as planned, but uh. Banana, oh, okay, that didn't, didn't quite go as planned, but uh. Let's dip it on in. <laughs> I thought it was gonna like be a lot cooler, but it wasn't. Oh my God, if you guys could smell this. I love El Pastor. Mm. Oh man, this has potential. They also have an impossible version of this as well. Oh, did they? Yeah. Dang, we should have tried that. This is so incredibly flavorful. The meat is nice and juicy and spiced to perfection, mixed with the pineapple. If you've ever had El Pastor before, you know it's good. And then that cheese sauce on top is not too like overpowering. And then these salty, crispy French fries, you mix it all together and this is a, this is a five out of five. This is very, very good. And initially I wasn't even gonna get this and then I saw it on the menu at the last second and I was like, okay, I gotta try those. And I am so glad that I did. Mm. You wanna try them? Yeah. That is so good. I didn't expect it to be so sweet with that pineapple on top, but I'm here for it. Five out of five Peters. Yes. Ordinary Adventure yes. Store. And to wash that all down, I got the grapefruit mezcal paloma. This has mezcal, house-made serrano syrup, grapefruit, and lime juices. And it is so beautiful looking. It looks delicious. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like I'm drinking. Every time I have mezcal, I'm surprised by the taste. This literally tastes like I'm drinking a campfire smoke but it's good. So if you've never had mezcal before, it almost tastes like a tequila, but it has the, the taste of a smoky aftertaste, if that makes sense. You're either gonna really like this or really not like it. I'm kind of in between. I'm giving it like a two and a half out of five, because I'm definitely gonna finish it, but this is definitely not for everybody. <laughs> Mariachi divas have become a staple here at Disney California Adventure. I love them, they're so awesome. Yeah, I love that they play like Selena, but then they also play Song from Encanto, and what else do they play? Songs from Coco, they're so good. Whenever there's any wind at Disney, they never do this ride, so it's very rare that it's actually open. And there was only like a five minute wait, so I dragged Peter on it, even though this ride scares the crap out of me. <laughs> They talk us into this. I don't even like this right. For your safety, remain seated with those seatbelts buckled until your rocket is coming. Also, this the Golden Zephyr looks like a kitty ride from the ground, but then when you're up there. It's kind of scary. Any ride like that that is just like attached by like these small cables scare the crap out of me. I'm like, they could snap at any minute. <laughs> but luckily it didn't snap when we were up there. So it's fun. I enjoy it. 
since we're on Buena Vista Street, we're gonna stop in Clarabelle's hand scooped ice cream. And I got the peanut butter and jelly banana split sundae. This is chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ice creams topped with peanut butter, chocolate, strawberry sauce, and it comes with banana pieces and waffle cone pieces. And it it looks like a lot. It looks good is what it looks like. It does look good. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had ice cream from Clarabelle's. And this is like everything in the kitchen sink thrown into a sundae. Kitcher's gonna have to help me finish this because I can't finish this myself. But I'm gonna give this like a four out of five Peters. What? Hey, it's good. It's just like a little, it's almost like too much. Another one of the seasonal items at Clarabelle's is a coffee milk stout float. This has Smog City Coffee Porter beer with vanilla ice cream drizzled with chocolate espresso sauce. Look at that. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna spill this all over myself. I am living. I am living today. I don't know why I just yelled like that. I just embarrassed myself by doing that. Good thing nobody's over here. If you like Guinness or like dark stout type of beers mixed with ice cream, mixed with chocolate drizzle that has like a hint of like a coffee taste because of that espresso, this is the thing to get. This is absolutely delicious. I feel bad that I waited until the end of the day to eat this because I am so incredibly, my stomach has very little room left, but this is delightful. This gets a five out of five. This is a nice, nice treat. <laughs> I feel like literally anything you get at Clarabelle's for me at least is gonna get a five it's all so good they even have hand dip popsicles in there they're amazing we're gonna stop in Elias and Company because they have a whole new line of Indiana Jones merch just in time for Dial of Destiny and I wish they had these action figures when I was a kid because I don't think there were Indiana Jones action figures so these come with a piece of the Lost Ark so if you buy all the action figures you can put the Lost Ark together and Brilliant. have the Lost Ark they do have a whip and the whip now is not like a real whip, it's like a snap bracelet. I wonder how that works. I also love that there's these Indiana Jones Mickey ears. I think they're so funny because it's like this teeny tiny hat and then you have Indiana Jones whip on the side and then classic Mickey ears. I kind of want them, but I feel like if you didn't know they were Indiana Jones, you wouldn't, maybe that makes it funnier. I don't know, they're cool. They're actually very comfortable. What do we think? I don't have a, a pair of just, black Mickey ears yet. We're going to the premiere. We are, we're going to the premiere. So why don't a, you wear the days. ears? And I don't have anything to wear, so I was thinking I could wear this and then get the shirt and then people won't judge me that I'm not dressed up formally. <laughs> the shirt doesn't feel like a normal t-shirt. It almost feels like snake skin or something. It's like polyester or something. And you know that Indiana Jones hates snakes, so why would they make a shirt made out of snake skins? Why'd it have to be snakes? There's also some summer food in Avengers Campus. We tried it all. Watch the video right over here. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Eric, Jay, Kent, and Kendall. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.